Hi, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to get help in Stata. So there are two types of help that you might want to get in order to be independent uh, in working in Stata. One kind of help is that you might be interested in doing something that you don't know the command for. Uh, and then the other one is that you might know a command but you might have forgotten the syntax or you might not know what the options are which you have available to you with that command. So for the first problem of not knowing the name of the command, personally, I just usually go on Google and I say how to blah 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 in Stata and there's a lot of documentation on the internet. First of all, a lot of Stata's help files are on the internet, like the Stata manual is on the internet. Uh, and then in addition to that, there are a lot of people who've posted uh, material on their websites, which gives information about doing stuff in Stata. There are even like help forums where people post questions and other people respond to the question, telling them how to do stuff. Uh, so that to me is a great place to start looking. There are a couple other things which are built into Stata which allow you to find stuff. So of course, one is that you can try to navigate to whatever you're trying to do by going through these menus up here at the top. Another one is that you can explicitly search the, uh, the state of help files for keyword terms. So if I want to look for help files which contain the word regression, I can do search regression. And it takes a minute and then it gives me a long list of help files which contain the word regression. Like I say, I prefer just going on Google because I think it's the most efficient. Um, then the other, so that's how to find a command if you don't know the name of the command already. But if you're interested in learning more about a command that you already know the name of, you can just use the command help. And that's going to bring up the help file for whatever you're interested in. So let's say we were interested in learning more about the command summarize. So if I type help summarize, then up pops a window here, which has a lot of stuff which is written in maybe a slightly confusing way, but once you understand it, it's very helpful. So at the top of help menu files, uh, you get the title of the help uh, of the help file, and then under here you get uh, the syntax. Generally, is the next step. Uh, so the syntax will tell you how you actually write out the command, and you'll notice in the syntax first of all that a lot of things are in brackets. Anything which is in brackets is optional. You could use this command just by typing summarize and then nothing else. Uh, you also notice that a bunch of this stuff is italicized. So stuff which is italicized is something which where like the word here is a stand in. So instead of var list, you wouldn't actually type literally V-A-R-L-I-S-T. Instead, you would type in the names of some variables. At the end here, you'll notice there's often something which is comma options. So most commands come with different options which you can write out. Uh, you can see some of the options right here directly underneath the command. Uh, and typically the options, you write the comma and then you write the name of the option. Uh, in addition, you'll notice that the first two letters of summarize are underlined. That means uh, that you don't have to type out the full name of the command. Stata is for lazy people. You don't have to type all the letters here so long as you type at least SU. Uh, then Stata will know that what you mean is summarize. You'll notice the same thing under the options. So if I did summarize comma detail, instead of doing comma detail, I could just do comma D, for example. And then you get a brief description of these options over here, like display additional statistics, things like that. As you scroll down further, of course, the thing which you're probably looking for with the first time you use the command is a description of what the command does. So down here you get a plain English description. Uh, so it calculates and displays a variety of univariate summary statistics. If you don't specify what the list of variables is, then it's calculated for all the variables in the data set. You'll notice that they also have links to other related help files. So of course I could have clicked where it says var list to see more about what a variable list is. I can also click, they're giving another command here called CI. So if I click on that, I go through to another help file. Uh, and I can learn all about this new command. I can then click back up there to go back to the previous help file that I was looking at. So below the plain English description for the, uh, for the 
uh, command that this help file is for, you'll see plain English descriptions of the options. So for example, detail produces additional statistics, including skewness, kurtosis, the four smallest and largest values, and various percentiles. Then below that, you often will get an example for how to use the file. So the example here, to work through this example, you can work through this on your own copy of Stata. Every copy of Stata comes with some built-in data sets and where like normally you would say use and then the name of the data set to bring in the data set. To bring in the uh, built-in data set, you would type sysuse and then the name of the built-in data set. So this is one which is about cars. So then you can uh, enter these commands one by one just to see for yourself what kind of outputs you get when you run this command. Uh, you also, for this one, you get a video example, although that's not that common. Uh, underneath that, you can also sometimes get stored results. So after you run the command, Stata can retain some information for some commands. Uh, I'm going to talk more about this in a later video. So to show you how to use stuff from this help file, I'm going to go back over here into Stata. So I've already brought in a data set. I've brought in affairs.dta, which is one of the Wildridge data sets. Uh, so if I wanted to summarize the variables, if I just did the basic plain vanilla command with no options, I could type summarize, and I get all of this stuff. Of course, like I say, you don't have to type the whole thing out. Usually when I want to summarize, I just type sum and it does the exact same thing. It said that I could list some variables. So let's say I wanted to summarize just religion and kids. So here I get the summaries for just these two variables. Uh, additionally, remember, so by the way, you'll notice I left in an extra space here. You can put in as many spaces as you want. Stata is indifferent to how many spaces that you include, so long as you include at least one. Uh, then, of course, we had the option to do, like, detail. So, and once again, we didn't have to type out the full thing. You could just type out D after the comma. And that's going to give you detailed summary statistics for these. So where before, by just doing the plain vanilla summarize, we got the number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, the min, and the max. Now for these variables, we're getting uh, the mean, the standard deviation, the number of observations, but also the percentiles, the smallest and largest values, the variance, the skewness, the kurtosis. Uh, so you can see that there are lots of additional things which you can do in Stata if you just look at the help menu.